Okay, just going to go through a couple of our cases here, how we have them organized. You can kind of see the stuff that we use along the way here. Just going to kind of go through everything here. So first, this is our uh, first Pelican. We've got twin Pelicans. These are the 1510s. Uh, they're actually the 1510 4. They're the 1514s. Uh, that didn't make any sense. 1514. And that's what gets you the, the divider stuff instead of the foam. Uh, let's start it over here. First, little baby Pelican. This is all our memory cards. Uh, B1 is in here and A1's in the zoom, but that's how we keep, keep them organized there. Just got some cloths here that we keep for cleaning lenses. This is a 60D uh, with the grip. So that goes in this section. Put the claws down in there. And that guy lives there. Uh, in this section, we have two uh, chargers. And then we have the 16 to 35 l 28 uh, and then we have the 24 to 70, tried and true, 28. Gray L lenses. And then these two little charger guys live down in here like this. And then I keep this little, this little low pro pouch. Um, in here I keep, uh, there's a compact flash card reader. Uh, there's a spare uh, lens caps. Compact flash cards, because they don't fit in our other Pelican for the 7D you're about to see. And these are where we have all our batteries, we number them. That way we can keep track of what's in the camera, what's charging, stuff like that. So, all that fits down in that section. Here is our good old 7D. Love it. Love it. Don't have the battery grip on this guy. Just keep the 7D stripped down just like this. Then if we move over here, this is our uh, Tokina 16 to 11, 11 to 16, uh, 28. I uh, used to have the 12 to 24 uh, F4 and replaced it with this guy. Very sharp lens, great for our glide cam stuff. In this little slot, I've actually got two stacked. Um, these are not L's, these are just the standard EF lenses, but I love them, it's the 85 prime, which is a 1.8. And then on top of it, it's best friend, the 50 millimeter, which is the 1.4. Uh, and then this guy, probably probably my favorite lens if I just had to pick one, 28 millimeter EF prime, 1.8, love him. His bunk mate down here is the, two, uh, the 2X extender, the doubler. Use that for outdoor sports with its best friend, the 24-70-28L uh, IS. This isn't the like IS-2, this isn't the one they released like six months ago, this is from uh, a couple years ago, I bought this when I was in high school, so that's that guy. So that's pretty much our camera Pelican and how we organize stuff. Let me uh, swap out Pelicans here and I'll show you our other case. Same model case, is that 1510, it's a 1514. This one we keep our audio stuff in it, so um, they're twins, but that's only bodies and lenses and this is only audio. So come on up and I'll show you what's in this one. First of all, in the lid you'll notice instead of the foam, I've got this little lid organizer in it that I got. Um, you can get this from Pelican and then screw it into the top, it works really well. Probably the best best $15 we ever spent are these undercovers from Ryko. We've got undercovers and overcovers and they're just these little like 3M strips. Um, but they are incredible for hiding lav mics, lav lavalier mics, or lapel mics, whatever you would like to call them, in people's shirt. Then I have these little pouches. I think I got these from the container store. I've got our two Sennheiser lavs in here. Um, so that's where those live. Those live right up here. This one's empty for now. Um, this one I've got our Sennheiser cables, uh, like our XLR connectors, um, as well as there's an eighth inch connector. And then I do have this little... Who makes this? I think Sescom. A lot of people like to use this cable. It, it would this comes out of your audio recorder, and then straight into your uh, camera. But then it also gives you monitoring, so you don't lose your monitoring. Um, rarely use that because we pretty much always run the separate uh, recorder where we don't double it into the camera. But we have it. And then lastly up here, these are our cables for our Tekion batteries, uh, as well as all their little different uh, tips and connectors. Okay, down here in the, in the actual meat of it, these are our inner loops. We run everything off inner loop AA batteries, not alkalines. Um, I used to buy Duracell batteries in bulk, uh, but switched to these inner loops and love them. They hold a charge for months at a time, and uh, they charge relatively quickly and work really well. I got these little cases off Amazon. I think they came like five in a pack or whatever. And then I just took, uh, this is like electrical tape or something like that, and put it on here so I did like that, because I like to keep them in pairs so they charge together, it helps them last longer. So that's a pair, that's a pair, because they're short, 
little squares on left and right. And this side, these are a little longer left and right. So that kind of shows our system there. Got blue and green and red and yellow and orange and pink and every color under the sun. Those all live over here. Um, we don't carry the chargers with us because we never end up charging the fuel because we just have enough. We don't do that. The chargers live somewhere else. Um, here's our Zoom H4N. Just keeping these little mic pouches I got from AudioPile for a dollar. Love them. Keeps the Zoom nice and scratch free. Um, back here we have our two Techions. They're 3450s. This gaff tape on here is marked for the glide cam, but these guys are great. They're twin buddies. Um, RF1 and 2 in here. Uh, these are the Sennheiser G3s. Absolutely love these guys. Never had a single bit of problem with these guys whatsoever. Keep the hot shoe mount on that end so that we can uh, mount that if we need to. Um, the only thing that's different between RF1 and 2, they're twins except for RF2, I've got the plug-on transmitter for it. So we can plug this onto a mic if we need to make a XLR wireless. So that's kind of this section. It packs away really nicely. Got my old trusty Sony uh, these are MDR V600s, studio monitor, big, big, huge headphones. I won't waste your time with showing you those, but they're just big, ugly headphones. Great for monitoring in the field. Right here, love this guy. Um, he's a champ. It's a little uh, Rode um, video mic. Uh, this is a video mic pro. This is a newer one that they've got. Runs off a 9-volt battery. It's the only thing weird about it, but I think we get like 70 hours on that, so it's never been a problem. Just fire that guy up. You need a different attenuation depending on what's going on. Uh, love that guy. I usually throw that on our primary camera. Only other thing in this case, because it stays kind of empty, because the reason it looks so empty is I, I leave this one pretty loose. The, the lenses and the, the bodies and stuff are all packed in like sardines, but we throw different stuff in this depending on where we're going. Sometimes we'll throw a super clamp or a cable or something in this. But I've got these two little Plano organizers from Walmart. Love Plano. They're really good at making cheap plastic stuff. This is um, all of our lavalier accessories. So we've got these huge, like, weather channel style windscreens here. These are beasts. Uh, normal style windscreens over here. And then we've got, these are, these are from Sennheiser. I had to order these special. These are, they're supposed to be for mounting two lavaliers together. I just like them more than the regular clips. This is what they, the G3 ship with, and I hate these clips. So I bought these, and we don't ever double mic them. We just single mic them and put it right in the middle there, but love these things. Um, I'll probably do a whole dedicated video on those. I need to stop talking, but those are amazing. Uh, different windscreens and beige colored things and stuff. That's what that one is. This one over here is our different clips for our blimp. We've got the Rode NTG3 and a blimp, and these are the different little adapters to the inside of it. That's that. And then we have a pair of NTG2s that we can hide away if we need to in these little shock mounts with 3 8 inch uh, threading on the bottom. Love these guys. I've got Dead Cats, the big gray fur things for these, but I keep them in a different pouch because we um, pretty much we know if we're going to be using those and we'll pack those special. So that's basically it. That's both Pelicans at least. And just wanted to go through them, kind of show the, the gear that we have. And I'm obsessed with a good pack. Love a good pack. Nothing like it. So I thought I'd show you how these are actually supposed to be packed. They look so good right now because I just repacked them. It, they really come home looking like this depending on how fast we need to get out of our location. But that's the two Pelicans. I think that's it. Thanks for watching. Just wanted to kind of go through our gear. Um, I'd probably recommend every piece of gear in here. Some stuff more than others. I'm more excited about this, you know, than some other things. Uh, for instance, there's little pieces of gear that I absolutely love. But most of this stuff is fantastic. We rely on it professionally every shoot. And uh, none, of it, none of it ever really goes down on us. So recommend any of it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And... Uh, watching my uh, hacking obsession here. Appreciate you. Have a good night.